this vid juice unitube review video i'm going to show you everything you need to know about this all-in-one video downloader tool this tool is great for anyone who needs to download videos whether that's individual videos or playlists of videos from most social media platforms like tiktok facebook youtube vimeo and the list goes on i'm going to show you how you can utilize vidjuice to do just that. If you have any questions about VidJuice, go ahead and drop your questions below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll leave a special discounted link below, which I'll keep updated so you always get your money's worth for VidJuice. VidJuice is a standalone application that you download onto your computer or your Mac. It only has two main areas, which is the downloader and the online area. This will make more sense shortly, but just so you know, you can download videos from each of these tabs here and you can even add your own custom social media platforms, which will probably allow you to download at a later point. Now, as TikTok is a high demand platform right now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can download videos on TikTok. So let's just jump straight into it. The standalone application will open up the browser inside the application and as you scroll down a download button will appear this download button will start downloading the video which is currently in the screen's display so if we do download go to downloader that's now finished downloading and if we open up the file that's been downloaded here so we now have the video right here but it doesn't just stop there let's say you want to download a bunch of videos from here so let's say we want to download a bunch of gordon ramsay's videos all we do is let's open up a notepad on our computer paste in the url we want to download now if you have a scraper you can actually scrape all of these videos but we won't get into that in this video now we're going to highlight all of those links copy go to downloader and then open this do multiple urls and paste these in and then do download you can also increase the speed or decrease it by dedicating a download speed here you can actually change the folder by clicking change and then in a couple of moments it's finished and if we go into the finished you can see it's been downloaded now let's go ahead and try to download a youtube video and now if we head over to the youtube section it opens up youtube and then under each video it's actually got a download button so let's go ahead and do download for this downloader and it's now starting to download this video. Now, if we actually click on the video, we can do something else quite cool, which is we can actually trim what part of the video we want to download. So let's say we want to download just this section here of the video, we can do cut. And now that's been added to the download list. So now you'll see that we've got those both those video files there, but if we open up this one, this was the first one we downloaded and it's three minutes, 44 seconds. And if we open up this one, this one's 15 seconds because we cut it before downloading. Let's say we want to download an entire playlist. So we can go to playlist to download this playlist. We can go ahead and copy, go to downloader over here and do download playlist. Found all those videos in the playlist and you can even add a serial number to it if you like and then do download. And just like that, it then starts downloading. What do I think of Vidjuice Unitube? I actually think it really very good. In fact, I love just really convenient tools because that's what a tool is meant to be used for, which is it's meant to streamline and help you achieve tedious tasks. So Vidjuice definitely does that. And it's quite nice to have a centralized area which will allow you to download videos in bulk. Now, there was one slight issue with Vidjuice that I did pick up on, and that was the cache of when you download a video. So what that basically means is that sometimes it doesn't, if you're switching between, let's say, TikTok to then straight away YouTube, it will keep downloading the previous TikTok video instead of the YouTube video. So a quick way of fixing that is simply Simply closing the app and then reopening it and it's completely refreshed. There is a clear cache button actually in the browser but I couldn't really get that working very well. However because it works closing and opening it it's not that big of a deal but it would be nice to see an update to the software to fix that issue. Overall would I recommend Vidjuice? Yeah I think I would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.